Hello, today we're going to show you how to send a message to your classes or a specific student using School Messenger. Uh, School Messenger is the new system we have for making phone calls home. This works bo both for the entire school or the school as a whole and for individual classroom teachers. So uh, you can send messages to your individual students and the school can send messages home to everyone and it is linked with your Aries account and roster so you do not have to populate that data yourself. So this replaces Blackboard Connect and Teleparent and now the entire district is using this program. So they recently rolled out Classroom Messenger which is what we will kind of be looking at which is for our individual uh, classes and so we'll show you how to get logged in, how to uh, create a new broadcast and send that out. So. Uh, here we go. First things first, you're going to need to get to the website, and it is asp.schoolmessenger.com slash smjuhsd. That link is also in the description of the video below. Uh, and if you were wondering what happened, we recorded or did this live last Friday, but the uh, audio came off kind of poor, so we're re-recording just to make the directions a little clearer and so that everyone uh, can actually hear it. So your login information, your username, is the same as you use for Aries. So for most of us, that's just our first name and last initial. Now, if you haven't logged in yet, you're going to need to click Forgot Your Password. So go ahead and click there, put in your username, which is your first initial and your last name, and then confirm that below and hit send, and they will send you an email. You're gonna to need to check your email, probably the spam folder, and click on the email and follow the instructions there. Once you've done that, we can come back to this page and log in. So you can do your username. My name is a little different, but don't worry about that. Put in your username and password and hit sign in. The first page that you come to here will show you kind of a summary. So how many broadcasts you've sent, um, who's sent them and all this stuff. And so for most of you, it's probably not gonna have anything here just yet. Uh, if you look down underneath that, you will see that, uh, you know, their, your completed broadcasts are under there as well. Most of you, once again, probably will not have anything there. Now, you can uh, click around up here and find a way to send uh, predetermined messages where you kind of just select the uh, comment about a student that you want to send home or whatever. But today, we're going to show you how to create a, a brand new organic broadcast that you will uh, determine the content of. So we're going to click this big orange-ish, reddish button over here that says new broadcast. And we're going to wait for it to load. Now we're going to have a subject here. And we're going to put that in there just as like a subject of an email. Okay. And most of you only have the classroom messaging function. So click on that. Um, now down under recipients, uh, we're going to have, we're going to add some message recipients, but we also want to add ourselves. So we're going to hit add me. And we're going to notice right here that there is no phone number for us. So we're going to hit this little pencil and edit that. And you can put in your own number. If I could type my own number, that would be great. All right, so number's in there. I'm going to hit save. Uh, I'm actually going to do the same number. There, so that way I will get this message however it is sent out and I can test it, okay? And we're also gonna go down and you can you can do a couple of things. You can, you can upload a list if you have a list of students but you have to have access to them. You can run a query in Aries and save it as a CSV file and then upload it. Uh, you can do a quick pick, you can do by class section, uh, whatever you want, you can create some rules. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go uh, by class section. I'll select my school, which is Santa Maria High School and I will select my section, which is my TA, and I will add him, and now he that whole section down there is added. You can see the number of students or people added is down here. And I'm gonna add me because it didn't do it last time. Okay, there we go. So now, uh, one person in my class, which is my TA, plus me, that means two people down here total. Uh, you see that you have the, uh, the email and, and phone number and everything down here. So that is all we're gonna do on this screen. We're gonna go ahead and hit the continue button here. Now here is where we get to decide how what type of message we're gonna send. Now we can send an email and do like voice transcription where it will actually, or sorry, we can do a phone message 
and we can do text to speech which means we're going to type our message here and you know essentially the whatever school messengers version of Siri or Google Voice or whatever will read it to the parents or whoever answers the phone um, or we can click on uh, this which is call me to record now if we go we select call to record if you want to put it in Spanish you'll need to be able to speak Spanish okay so you can record an English message and then you record the same message again in Spanish but if you don't speak Spanish it won't translate it for you um, now we also could do the text-to-speech and then hit the translate button down here which will translate it into Spanish for you so if you do speak Spanish you want to you want to do it that way you can um, if you want to do the call route you can if you don't speak Spanish and want to do text-to-speech you can also do that I'm going to show you how to do the call uh, to record so I'm going to enter my number here and I'm going to hit call and we're going to wait for it to call me and you can hear my phone is now ringing hello when you're ready to begin recording your message press one and follow the prompts begin speaking immediately after the beep Hello, this is Mr. Mark Stone with Santa Maria High School. I just wanted to remind all the students that we do not have class this Friday, November 11th. Thanks. Have a great day. Your message will now play back. Hello, this is Mr. Mark Stone with Santa Maria High School. I just wanted to remind all the students that we do not have class this Friday, November 11th. Thanks. Have a great day. To save this message, press 1. I've pressed Thank one. Goodbye. The call has ended. And now you'll see that it gives me the option to record it in another language. Okay, but I am not going to do that. So now I have that. And I'm going to go down and click save because my message there is done. I can also do an email message if I wish. Uh, but for now, I'm going to uh, move on. Actually, I will show it to you. Uh, so actually we do have the option to also do an email message and I am going to do that now so the reply to email I will just leave um, as my school email um, subject great job there is some stationery in there I have not messed around with that but I'm just gonna type my message here And if I want to hit translate here, I can do that. Spanish. Not sure if that's a great translation or not, but I'm going to go ahead and say yep and hit save. All right, now we're done and we're going to hit continue. We'll see how it's going to go out. It's going to go out via phone and email. Okay. Uh, we're going to skip the duplicate email, phone, SMS recipients. Uh, I'm not going to save the message content because I probably I don't, don't mind recording that again next year when I need it. Um, so here we go. So we're going to hit send now. We could, if you schedule to send later, you'll notice that you can't send anything before 9 a.m. Uh, you have to give it at least an hour to to work. So you can't send between the hours of 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. And actually, you can't send between the hours of 9 p.m. and 8 a.m. So won't let you call people too late or too early, uh, which is nice. But you can specify any time in here you want. Uh, and if you try to give it too little time, it'll say the difference has to be at least an hour. So I'm actually going to cancel this part and hit send now. Okay, it says it's sent. And so now it's going to go. And you'll see that this thing here is in progress or sending soon. And because I entered my own information, you'll see that I will get a phone call and an email uh, in just a few moments. I'm getting a call here. Hello. This is an important message from Santa Maria Joint Union High School District. Press 1 to hear the message now or stay on the line. Press the pen. Hello, this is Mr. Mark Stone with Santa Maria High School. I just wanted to remind all the students that we do not have class this Friday, November 11th. Thanks. Have a great day.
and after the phone call has played it hangs up automatically and that is done now we will also get uh, I also got an email from them so you can see there it is unfortunately I put the email reminder of great job and so you're gonna to want to make sure that your uh, reminder is uh, you know better situated than that okay and after we're done we will get a report so it says this is an email letting you know that your job great job is completed please see the attached report for more information so I'm gonna click on and open up the uh, report here and we'll can see you can see that there was three contacts okay two email contacts three phone contacts uh, it was delivered to me two emails were delivered and we can see down here that it was delivered to uh, this email address here but there was no phone set for that person so they did, did not get um, an answer but you can see that here that I did get a phone call and it was answered because I answered it so um, that's done. It did not do the push or the SMS message, so I'm not sure why that didn't go through, but we will look into it. So you can always use this to see how many people uh, were contacted and, and all that stuff, which may help you determine you know, who's getting your message and who is not. So I just want to remind you that if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, I'm glad. And if you need more help, or you want more help in setting this up or, or doing something that I have not explained here, let me know. You can reach out to me. You can contact me at mmarkstone at smjuhsd.org. You can call me at extension 3410, and I would be more than happy to provide you with some assistance. Uh, also, please remind your students that I am available every Tuesday and Thursday at lunch and during seventh period uh, in the MMLC. Uh, you as teachers and staff members have access to me a little bit more than that uh, and I'm more than happy to come in and work with your classes on any technology related project or whatever that you have or want some help with um, that's why I'm here so uh, let me know if you need any assistance and I look forward to helping you again in the future soon thanks